Today, I want to talk about uh, how to add Fedora Mulch Arc containers to your CI, to your upstream CI. Because now we need to work with Mulch Architecture RPM packages, as you know. In the past time, working with only x8664 worked. But now, we need to work with other architecture RPM packages. We need to fix architecture-specific issues, sending pre request to upstream. So, how to do this? How to deal with this? That's the reason uh, I will share this topic for you. So first, I introduce you a list of CPU architecture kinds. And by the way, I will shorten the word architecture. Uh, I call it arc, arcs, because it's, it's too long to say. There are two arcs, host arc by uname command and package arc that is used a part of RPM package name. And also uh, some patterns of CPU we need to care. For example, CPU is Intel, ARM, or IBM. IBM. And uh, the CPU is 64-bit, or 32-bit, Little Indian or Big Indian. The tools for March Arc, the green check uh, marked items are what I cover today. QM user static. QM is processor emulation. User is QM's user's mode to emulate a process, not a system mode for today. The static is emulation by static binaries. And the mock, mock has a future to run multi architecture mock environment on QM user static. It's convenient. And the COSI, as you know, has a future to build multi arc RPM packages. And the packet, I have never used it, but uh, on Sunday at Flock, there is a workshop for packet. So we can attend it. And multi arc QM user static image, that is a main topic, the project I'm working for now. And finally, the Podman, Podman, Docker and Docker Build X, that is a plugin of Docker, has a platform option to build multi arc images. So, uh, QM and Bean Format MISC, uh, that is an article a few months ago from Docker company. QM and Bean Format MISC a remarkable technology in container world that is used to build multi arc images. Five steps to add Fedora multi architecture containers to your CI, to your upstream CI. This talk's goal. So, uh, let's see it one by one from next slide. The first step is about QM arc static. That is an interpreter to run arc specific binary. In this case, hello arc64, um, uh, 64-bit file is the um, uh, arc file. 
the example shows uh, first the file command is to show the kind of file that shows ARM ARC64 file, the second line command. And the ARC file shows error when running the command directory. You can see cannot execute binary. But when running the command with QM ARC64 static, that is the interpreter, the uh, hello ARC64 command prints hello world correctly. So simple, the QM arc static, the corrections of the QM CPU name static binary files are interpreter. So make sense? Okay. So next step is about bin format MISC. Actually, this is a kernel future, a binary format. Miscellaneous. That is useful to run arc binary without specifying the interpreter. The example shows how to add a uh, bin format MISC file, that is a special file. The, as a first condition, first line, there are two files, register and status, under the proc directory. Then echo some magical string redirect to register. The string is colon separated string. Then new beam format uh, MISC file is created. So let's see the content of the created beam format MISC file. There are items, but important items are interpreter and flag f flag f important and uh, as a result hello arc 6 file runs uh, correctly prints hello world without the interpreter because interpreter information is in the bin format misc file okay and flag f what is what is flag f The flags F is, uh, is that example shows uh, how flags F works. Removing the interpreter, removing the inter interpreter, after that, arc binary works, printing the hello world. That is the future of flags F. The flags F is the persistent option. The information for QM is uh, saved on the memory. That is, uh, we will see why this is important uh, on the later slide. And uh, this is uh, just an example how to remove bin format MISC file. Echo minus one redirect to the bin format MISC file is to remove the file. So this is an example of some uh, adding, editing manually bin format MISC file. It is important to understand the mechanism of the QM. Third step is about QM user static RPM on Fedora. This RPM Actually, uh, when installing the RPM, installs bin format MISC files, uh, third command line that uh, we learned on previous step, that bin format MISC file is with flags F. That is the condition of the RPM. So this uh, is the example how to reset install the bin format MISC file because sometimes we want to manually edit the special file. This page just shows how to add, how to edit the bin format MISC file for testing. After that, uh, what we can do is to run system control 
restart system D bin format service. That command uh, resta is reset to the files. The result is uh, initial condition. So this is a picture how it works. When installing and uninstalling QM user static RPM, the RPM uh, do restart being system D being format service as a postscript of RPM. The service reading being format D config files, then recreate being format misc files based on the config file. The being format D config files are included in uh, QM user static RPM. The fourth step, now we can run arc specific container on local with Podman. As an initial condition, running uh, arc container, ARM64 V8 Fedora container is a Fedora's ARC64 container on Docker Hub. With Podman, uh, initial condition shows error cannot execute, but after installing QM user static RPM that installs bin format misc files with flags F, as a result, running ARC container works on your local. So today you can try this. The big, this picture shows how a uh, last command, uname command works. When running a uname command in container, uname command works in container on bin format misc file. The point is, installed bin format misc files are commonly used between host OS and inside of the container because that is a feature of kernel. The container use kernel, host OS kernel. That is a secret to how the binary command in container works. The flag says F is important because in container usually there is no interpreter. So that is the reason. Now uh, already fifth step, five step. March arc QM user static and CI. That example shows learning March arc QM user static image with options using Podman command. That uh, image, learning image is to install bin format misc files with flags F that we learned on previous step, same condition. After that, we can run a specific container correctly. The last command line. Make sense? Good. And this is actual example of Travis CI that often use the CI on upstream project. You can see the file later from the repository uh, by the way, you can see the footer URL. That is a repository for your workshop after, after this talk. You can check it for detail. Yeah, it's helpful. I'm a helpful guy. So, <laughs> so uh, back to the uh, slide. First picture, left top, top shows the result of the Travis CI. Maybe you uh, see this kind of result on Travis CI. The result for each arc case. The logic is right side picture, matrix include the each case. And the point is, uh, it's a small uh, environment variable base image. That is, use the base uh, container image URL using a common Docker file right top 
the base image is used uh, from image URL as a build argument. And uh, left bottom picture is the common logic to run arc container. Three command lines. First, docker run. Uh, by the way, uh, this example is only for only docker because Podman Ubuntu package on Travis has an issue right now and uh, we are fixing on it now. So first container, first command is to run manage QM user static image with options that installs uh, bin format misc files with flags f. The second command uh, to build, uh, docker build, to build arc container using base image argument. Then finally run arc Fedora container with command. In this example, I executed make test command in container. Okay. So this picture shows how uh, the March Arc QM user static image works. When running the image, uh, left side, the image executes a register script inside of the container. The register script creates adds new bin format misc file from inside of the container. The point is again, bin format misc files are commonly shared inside of the container and host OS. As a result, uh, arc binary files work on bin format misc file for both inside of the container and outside of the container. Okay, so now uh, extra topic. I show you uh, native ARM supported CI services in this slide because sometimes emulation by QM is not perfect. There is a QM specific issue. So uh, three ARM supported CI services, Sipable CI, and Drone CI, and Works on ARM. Works on ARM is a free ARM server, free ARM server on, uh, for open source project. And next topic, next extra topic is how to build uh, March Arc con images uh, from a common Docker file using platform. The platform option for Podman, uh, actually this is still working in progress in this uh, ticket URL. You can check it later. So this is uh, specifying architecture information as an argument. As a result, we can build Arc container and we can run Arc container on QM user static on, in this example. And for Docker build, Docker command with Docker build kit environment variable provides platform option. And also a Docker build X, that is the plugin of the Docker provides uh, platform option. And the behavior is very similar. So three ways are very similar behavior. This picture uh, just shows how uh, the platform option works from a common Docker file to build an arc image, then run the container using uh, QM user static. So let's wrap up, wrap up. 
Five steps to add Fedora Merge Arc to Upstream CI. The first step, what we learned, QM Arc Static is a interpreter to run Arc specific binary, just the interpreter. The second step is a bin format misc is to run Arc binary without specifying the interpreter. The third step is QM user static RPM that installs bin format misc files with flags F. The fourth step, QM user static RPM and container, we learned uh, how to run arc spe specific container on QM user static RPM. And the last step, a fifth step, we learned a merge arc QM user static image, uh, running the image to run the container. I showed the example of the podman running the image on local. Then, and I also shared the actual example of Travis CI, the popular CI. So now uh, you are ready to add your new federal container images. Make sense? Congratulations. And later you can check the workshop uh, repository. And a special thanks for this project uh, that the project helped me to create this talk. And slide URL is this. After this talk, I will upload the slide. Also, you can uh, check the website of the flux scheduling system. I will upload the slide too. And bonus point, if you have a question, open the ticket to ask your questions in this repository. I'm happy to answer, and also I'm happy to discuss in person on site. Okay, so my presentation finished uh, a few minutes. So any questions? So sir, uh, would you recommend to run the on QM? Yes. Good question. Can you okay, the question is, uh, what is the performance containers on QM? Answer is slow. <laughs> Try it slow. Uh, not a triple, but a double or a 1.5. Okay, so sir. You mean, uh, the question is, uh, what is the reason to use a uh, Docker Hub? Uh, exactly, yes. Uh, using uh, the question is why uh, I used uh, the image ARM v64 Fedora image. The reason is uh, my way uh, does not support to recognize uh, from official Fedora image to ARC specific image. Uh, Platform uh, works yeah, so why did you just use because a uh, platform is uh, not so perfect uh, to run every arc cases. 
Uh, actually, you can see uh, the case of using uh, Docker command and a Docker build X command with platform on actual dot Travis CI. And that's, that is still doesn't work on Travis CI. And uh, I'm asking uh, for the issue. Uh, so, uh, Madam? Uh, sorry, could you repeat? Uh, have you tried uh, building from Nginx uh, for other platforms on Nginx? Uh, I mean, ah, okay, I see. The question is, have you tried building container image uh, except x8664 image as a host architecture? Mm, uh, the situation, uh, yes. Uh, the situation for multi arc uh, image is only supports uh, x864 uh, as a host architecture. That is the, that can be supporting other architecture is the new future. I'm trying to add architecture. Another architecture. Ah. Uh huh. Building uh, Arc 64 images running on Arc 64, right? Mm, I see, target image is uh, Arc 64. Yeah, uh, right now, uh, okay, uh, maybe I understand. Uh, the way of using multi arc QM static image does not support the case. Yeah, I'm just asking if you are looking Yes, looking. Uh, there is a future request on the repository. And uh, we recognize how to implement, so. Uh, we will see it. And uh, yeah, Docker, a Podman platform option, now uh, just uh, developing is uh, an alternative to achieve it. Privilege, what? Oh, doesn't work on unprivileged mode because uh, that controls being format misc from inside of the container. Okay, I I think I'm sorry. It's time, right, for next session. Okay, so thank you, audiences. <laughs>